Welcome to CSET Biology, the cover page from TCP Academy. I am Mr. Wilson and today we're going to be looking at sexual reproduction in plant. To be specific, we're going to be looking at the structure of the flower. This lesson is suitable for students grade 6 through to grade 11. The lesson is designed so that teachers can use this lesson to reinforce the topic in class. Students can also use the lesson. What is sexual reproduction? Is definitely the first question that anyone would ask. You have 10 seconds in which to answer boys and girls. Great. So sexual reproduction is pretty much a fusion of a male and female gamete in order to produce a new offspring. What is the male gametes in plants? Can you say boys and girls? Or do you know what's a female gamete in plants? Follow the lesson to find out. One might ask, what's this diagram? Name the part of a plant found in the diagram below. You have 10 seconds in which to come up with the name. Great! It is a flower. It is also the reproductive organ in flowering plants. Great! You are awesome there. Did you know flowers produce nectar, which is used to make honey, and they also produce pollen? Flowers are also used in many beautification projects. I'm sure you can relate to a flower garden you have seen somewhere, probably at home or at the park. Can you identify the parts of a flower? Hmm. Sure you can. Let's take the journey. If a petal was your answer, then you're correct. What's B? If an anter was your answer, then you're correct. Hmm, I wonder what C. Hmm, I just got just a small. Wow, the filament, great! And D. That sweet substance is produced by the hmm, the nectary, and the plant is held in position by the hmm. What's this? Hmm. Huh. What's I? So you would have scored five out of five already. Now you're at six out of six. You are doing well. Now, if you made any mistake, don't worry. Just look at what is on the screen, replay the video to ensure that you get full marks for this section of a lesson. All right, there we're looking at the ovary, and inside the ovary, we're seeing three little circles that represent the ovule. There we have the style, and lastly, we're going to be having the stigma. So the parts of the flowers labeled here, they are petal, anther, filament, nectary, receptacle, sepal, ovary, style, and stigma. It's very important to note here that the pistil, or we might say carpel, is a female portion of a plant, while the anther and filament, they make up the stamen, which is of course a male portion of a plant. Can you identify the parts of a flower? Hmm, we just looked at that. Now we want to identify the part of a flower and tell about its function. So A, we said that A was the petal, great. 
Now, petals are usually brightly colored parts of a flower. The petals attract pollinators like insects and birds, and some petals may also be scented. Now, a discussion for this lesson that your teacher will walk you through, do you know any other petal color? Can you name a pollinator? What is pollination? What is the color of a petal in the diagram? I'm sure you're going to be enjoying this with your teacher. Can you identify the part of a flower? Hmm. The anther. The anther is a site of pollen grain production. Pollen is a male gamete or sex cell in plants. Let's look at the discussion here that you'll have with your teacher. Have you ever seen pollen grains? What color they were? Can you name a plant with pollen? Can plants reproduce without pollen? What is asexual reproduction? Pause the video, gather these answers, and of course, do that discussion with your teacher. Filament. Filament is a stalk that holds the anther in place. Wonderful. What color the anther has in the picture? There we have to identify the parts of a plant. So we're identifying another part now. And that's of course a nectary. And it secretes nectar, which is a sweet liquid eaten by insects and other animals what does a bee use to make how does this honey taste what is the honey used for wow a whole lot to discuss there with your parents or teacher receptacle the receptacle all the flowers on the plant and provide attachment for the parts of the flower our discussion what color does the receptacle has on the hibiscus? You could share that in the comment below or of course share with your parents or teacher. Sepal. The sepal forms an outer protective covering of a flower. There we have the sepal. Have you ever seen the sepal on a plant? Check it out and let us know in the comment if you have. Ovary. It forms the base of a pistil and the place where the ovules are made. Now, what are ovules? Style is a tube or stalk through which pollen grains travel to the ovary. Our discussion, can you identify the ovary and style on the hibiscus plant? Hmm, interesting. Stigma. It is a sticky area on top of a style that collects pollen grain during pollination. What is pollination? Name an animal that aids with pollination. Ovules are pretty much a female part of a plant that would contain the ovum or one might say sex cell in plants. What is a seed? Semen represents a male reproductive part of a flower. It contains both anther and filament. Pistil is pretty much a female reproductive part of the flower. What's a complete flower? It's a flower that has both male and female reproductive parts. What's an incomplete flower? Contains either male or female reproductive part. Now here's our quiz. Identify the insect in the picture. All right, so just pay close attention to the screen and this is going to be your activity for this lesson.
pause the video to copy the question, then you can continue. Thanks much for watching. I do hope that you found this video very interactive. Leave us a comment below the video and see you next time.